Today we're going to be talking about tea times. The tea time system is designed to give both live and past data on technician productivity and efficiency. This system does require proper setup, accurate user inputs, and proper adherence to be accurate and effective. This is the first of several tea times training videos. We'll start with the obvious, we'll get the system set up. We'll start from our today's vehicle page. From here, we're going to access the TVP menu and go into our system settings. Once you get to the system settings login page, if you have any issues signing in, sign in is very simple. You can leave the email field blank or put in any email you desire. It is not needed. And for the password, you simply need your welcome code. If you're going to be using this computer in the future, you can also disable the 60 minute logout timer. Go ahead and hit login. If you're using Google Chrome, I would highly recommend you hit save when asked to save this password for this website in case you need to access this in the future. Once in your system settings, the first place we're going to go is to our technician user page. We'll click on users. We'll click on technicians. From here, you'll see your full list of users. For each technician you have, you'll want to click the pencil on their profile. This will open up their pop-up. Most important is setting each technician's daily time budget to the number of build hours they are expected to complete each day. Next is setting the normal hours for each technician. This should reflect the amount of time each technician is scheduled to work on a given day. In our example here, we'll leave our time budget at eight, meaning we expect Al to complete eight hours of billable time each day. He's going to be working Monday through Friday, eight hours each day, which is 40 hours in a given week. Once done here, you can go ahead and hit submit changes. Repeat this process for all of your active technicians. Next, we're going to build our tea times list. To get there, we'll go to workflow, general, and then we'll click on technician at the top. What we're going to do here is set our list of tea times for non-billable activities. You can see in the examples here, we have several examples such as clean shop, waiting on parts, waiting on authorization, etc. These activities are not related to a repair order, but will give you excellent insight onto what technicians are doing when they're not working on billable jobs. Review your list here. If any are missing, scroll down and click add new tea times. From here, you simply give it a name and a description. It should be clear and concise. And unless it is a break or lunch, leave the included in clock hours activated. Once you have it entered, you can go ahead and hit OK. Repeat this for any other non-billable activities you want the technicians to be able to log and punch into. Once done there, scroll to the bottom of the screen, and the last step we're going to do is set our pay period. You can see you have several options such as weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and half-monthly. All we need to do is select the appropriate cadence for our payroll, and then we need to select the start date of our payroll. For example, if you work Monday through Friday, you can select any Monday on this calendar and that will set your pay period to start on Monday. Go ahead and hit apply once done there. Once finished, hit submit changes at the bottom and that concludes our setup for tea times. Check out our next video on daily use. I hope this has been insightful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.